Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are continuing on with the 2008 AP Calculus free response question. Here's question three, which is another graphing calculator question. Um, oil is leaking from a pipeline on the surface of a lake and forms an oil slick whose volume increases at a constant rate of 2,000 cubic centimeters per minute. The oil slick takes the form of a right circular cylinder with both radius and height changing with time. Um, note the volume V of a right circular is given by this equation. At the instant when the radius of the oil slick Okay, so let's let's write let's write everything that we have. We have v is equal to pi r squared h, and they're saying that dv dt, the rate of change of the volume, is two thousand two thousand uh, cubic centimeters per minute. Uh, at the instant, the radius. So for a, we're saying when the radius is a hundred centimeters, and h equals 0.5 centimeters, the radius is increasing at a rate. So dr dt is equal to 2.5 centimeters per minute. At what rate of change is the height uh, doing? So uh, to do, uh, they already give you the equation, so I'm going to take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. I get dv dt is equal to pi. Um, here I'm going to do product rule for this, right? Um, 2r dr dt h plus r squared dh dt. And I want to find what dh dt is. So um, I'm going to divide by pi. I'm going to divide by pi, then subtract. So I have 1 over pi dv dt. What do I need to do next? I need to subtract all of this. 2r dr dt h, and then divide it all by r squared. And that will give me dh dt, right? So now let's just plug it in. 1 over pi times 2,000 minus 2 times r is 100. dr dt is 2.5. And h is 0.5 over r squared, which is uh, 100 squared. So 2,000 divided by pi, where's pi, minus 2 times 100 times 2.5 times 0.5 divided by 100 squared equals 0 0.0387 centimeters per minute. B, a recovery device arrives. Let me erase this bottom part here. A recovery device arrives on the scene and begins removing oil. The rate at which oil is removed is R of t, where t is the time of minute since the device began working. Oil continues to leak at a rate of 2,000 cubic centimeters per minute. Find the time t when the oil slick reaches its maximum volume. Okay, so the volume of the oil slick. Um, I don't know if it makes sense to you, but basically, it's the maximum is going to be when the, the 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 rate of change of the volume is zero, right? And if it's gaining volume at two thousand centimeters per cubic centimeters per minute, and it's losing volume by four hundred root t, then I want to know when this is equal to zero. So I want to know when two thousand is equal to four hundred root t. This over this gives me 5 equals the square root of t, or t would equal 25 uh, minutes. Okay. 400. Oh, is this 50? No, 5 times 400 is 2,000. Yeah, 2,000 by 400 is 5, so square root of 25 minutes. By the time the recovery device began removing oil, 60,000 cubic centimeters of oil had already leaked. Write but do not evaluate an expression involving an integral that gives the volume of the oil the time found in part B. Uh, by the time the recovery device began removing oil. Oh. So the amount of oil that we have is 60,000 plus the integral from 0 to 25. So we're going to say we started off with this many um, 
cubic centimeters of oil. And then we're going to be adding 2,000, but taking away 400 root T. Yeah. That makes sense. This is sort of the volume that keeps pulling up from 0 to 25, because I'm adding this much volume. This rate minus this rate is the change in the volume. So you add up that change in the volume, that rate of change in the volume from 0 to 25. OK, good. That was a shorter one. Let's take a look to see how we did on this one. Um, I got 0 0.038 or 0 0.039. Yep, that's right. Uh, 25 minutes, good. And then 60,000 plus 0 to 25. 2,000 minus R of T, and I just did root T there. So, All right, um, did pretty good on that one. Uh, hope you guys found that helpful. Um, I'll see you in the next video when we um, do the non-calculator portion of the exam. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.